They shifted gears towards Nintendo's mobile plans, and Kamishima reiterated that they'd like mobile games to work together with traditional Nintendo hardware. Obviously, the immediate thought is their next console, the NX, but it could be even sooner, it seems like. When the interviewer asked if this comment meant Nintendo 3DS, Kamishima said, I don't think you'd be wrong to imagine such. So he made it very clear, too, that Nintendo knows its fans aren't made of money, and mobile games are often monetized way too little, and they make no money, or way too much, and they hurt their fans, or at least their fans' bank accounts. So he says Nintendo is working hard to find a safer middle ground that can satisfy everyone for that sort of pricing model. Yeah, and that just seems pretty par for the course. Uh, That's Mm -hmm. sort of what they've been saying all along since they announced their mobile plans is we want to make money off of this, but our main our main point is to get as many people engaged as possible. So we're trying to draw in as many customers as possible from different walks of life and you know different countries. Just get as big of a fan base as possible and get a little bit of money from each one of them for you know a cumulative large amount of money from from all of them collectively. Right. I think the the big thing here, I think, is that they could communicate with the Nintendo 3DS in some way. Yeah. Which I feel yeah. like must have some kind of... There must be some sort of OS update for the 3DS or something that would need to make that... You know, that you would need in order to make that possible. Like, I wonder how this is going to work, because the 3DS was built so long before they had any idea that they would even want this to be possible. Like, the, the reason well, I would They could imagine, do, like, QR code-related content, couldn't they? I guess so. But, man, that's... Ew. <laughs> yeah, I was going to say, looking at the way 3DS has historically interacted, even with the, the online systems they designed for the 3DS, yeah. It's yeah. Just, I can't imagine it being a good enough experience that I would want them to have their first mobile uh, game system crossover to be on 3DS. Yeah. I mean, I guess we'll see what happens. We know, because Animal Crossing and Fire Emblem have both been ridiculously successful on 3DS, so I think that might have something to do with it, Mm -hmm. and that these are the first two games coming out. They're coming out, they're both coming out by the end of the year, it's safe to assume, because they've got five coming out by the end of March. Yeah, they they said fall was the target for both of the games, I believe. Yeah. Um, So, you know, it's not crazy to imagine that they would interact with the 3DS games, but you're right. No, I agree with you that it seems like it would just be way too clunky to you know, that it, that it's worth it. I would rather have, you know, these games come out and be their own self-contained experiences that, that work how, I mean, uh, however they work. And then when sort of the inevitable NX versions of these games come out, then you can, then those games can communicate with the mobile versions. Yeah, I for sure would hope it'd be original games and not the existing, for example, like you said, Fire Emblem and Animal Crossing games. Yeah. I wouldn't want them to be, to have to like re-engineer parts of those games to work with mobile. I don't think that would be a good idea. Mm-hmm. What I would imagine isn't so much re-engineering parts of those games, rather building a mobile game around the limitations of these pre-existing games. Oh, I And see. by limitations, I mean that they had no consideration for mobile whatsoever. Um, so then the mobile experiences would be built around this really weird, unintentional interface where it's not supposed to communicate with mobile in any way, but then it kind of has to, like, I, I hope, I hope neither version, mobile or handheld slash console, suffers for it, and I feel like with sure. 3DS it will. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Thank you for listening to this Nintendo Week Clip NWC. If you like what you hear, please subscribe to us here on YouTube for more highlights and discussion videos from Nintendo Week Podcast, or subscribe to us on iTunes for weekly breakdowns of all your Nintendo news, discussion segments on subjects, games, and more, and tons of other features. Thanks for listening, and we will see you tomorrow with another NWC.